it'll probably work a lot better if I turn my microphone on. Good morning, everybody. Time for seven minutes in the morning. I was just sitting here as I was writing this title. Wasn't there a song about this? This is Seven Minutes in the Morning, where five days a week you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now, here's the host of Seven Minutes in the Morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Good morning, Joe, and good morning, America, and the world, since we have a worldwide audience here. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning, where we talk about how to start growing, enjoy the benefits of owning your own business, and whatever else I feel like talking about. Today, we're going to continue our conversation about taking advantage of opportunity and uh, how to deal with best intentions. We run into them all the time. Before we get to that, though, when you get here, whether you're watching live or on the replay, do what Joe and Amanda have done. Drop a little comment in there, say hi. And if you are so motivated and if you get value from the show today, click on the old like button, share button, share it with your network, whatever works in the venue where you are uh, joining from, which I'll point out, uh, if you're watching the live video on Facebook, thank you. I appreciate that. It's also available for replay on YouTube. It's on SoundCloud, TuneIn, Stitcher, iTunes, uh, any any and everywhere you get podcast and daily content. That's where it's going to be. And and as soon as I get my streaming problem worked out, <clears throat> I'll do a whole separate episode on that. Um, or maybe I'll do an after the show show today to tell you about that. But at any rate, once I get that worked out. Um, I've got some updates for that coming also. If you're watching on one of those other venues, head over to 7minutesinthemorning.com. That'll get you the right place on Facebook where you can join in the conversation with everybody else uh, and be part of the, the fam here. All right, so um, <laughs> we've been talking about opportunity this week, how opportunity is a set of circumstances. That's all it is. It's not a guaranteed outcome. It's not a guarantee of, of a result. It's just a set of circumstances. It's like the pieces of a puzzle spread out on the table. It's up to you to put it together to get to enjoy the benefits uh, or, in the puzzle case, the beauty of the finished piece of art. All right? But there's all these things that happen, these, these expectations that we put on it, uh, things that happen, and then today's quote of the day came up in the list. This is from Napoleon Hill, the guy that wrote Think and Grow Rich. I have to look up the date. Joe, look up the date on that for me if you if you can, one of you. When did he write that? Because it's got to be going on 100 years ago. Here's the quote. The number one reason people fail in life is because they listen to their friends, family, and neighbors. Let me read that again. Give that just a second to sink in. The number one reason that people fail in life is because they listen to their friends, family, and neighbors. I have said repeatedly here and in just about every venue, we see things different than other people. Right? I mean, uh, uh, entrepreneurs, business owners, our job is to solve problems for other people at a profit. In order to do that, we have to look at the world differently in order to see the problems and where those opportunities, those sets of circumstances that we can leverage with, so we can see where they lie. But if we listen to other people who don't think the same way that we do, we'll get a bunch of negative Nancy talk. Oh, that's risky. Oh, you shouldn't do that. Oh, you know, you shouldn't do this. It's okay. I'm not, that's, <laughs> uh, that's why I titled today's show dealing with best intentions. They are sharing their opinion with you with the best intentions in mind. I'm pretty sure as Randy Travis did a song about the road to hell being paved with best intentions. Um, hey, Jessica, good morning. So they're doing it from a place of care and concern for you. 
It's just their context and their perspective is different. And yet, if we listen to them and we let, yeah, thanks, Joe, 1937. So we're a little over, a little less than 90 years ago. This has been out in the wild. Today's quote is, the number one reason people fail in life is because they listen to their friends, family, and neighbors. It's Napoleon Hill from Think and Grow Rich. They're doing that to try and help you. It's just their context, the, their context of the world is different. Think about you and a child, okay? When you say, I, I, I want to help a child not fall off, learn to ride a bike, not fall off the bike, uh, don't do something that's going to hurt them. Don't play with fire. It'll burn. All of those things, our context of understanding is different, and so we are trying to impart that knowledge upon them. That's an example of, of you know, just the perspective that you bring to the problem is different. But in this case, friends, family, and neighbors are more like the child trying to tell us what to do. Now, we're different which by definition makes us kind of abnormal. Although I'm going to run the numbers on this. I've said that a couple of times. Every time I say it, it reminds me to go run the numbers on this. I believe, based on the number of small business owners, they we're probably not abnormal. Now, not all small business owners are entrepreneurs. I understand that. But I'll do the math on that and uh, maybe do a show on that next week. But the point is this, right? They are coming to us from a perspective of love, of help, of, of trying to help us be the best us we can be. And, but yet they don't have the same context that we are bringing to the discussion. Yeah. And, and Jessica's got a good point there. Most opinions come from those we admire and it is. And it's followed to make them proud, right? So we have, with psychologically within us, within our heart, we've got this desire uh, driven by serotonin. That's the chemical in our brain that makes it work to make other people feel proud of us. And to have them say, no, no, this is what you should do. And then I say, yeah, okay, I hear you, but I'm not going to do that. Oh, that kind of flies in the face of that. And so now... What a, what a lot, and I, I hear this all the time from uh, um, prospective business owners and nascent business owners. I got to hurry up and make this work. So my wife, my husband, my family, my, my parents will stick with me on this, that, that, that they'll maintain the faith. They'll keep the faith with me, right? Hey, Glenda, good morning. Good to see you here this morning. You know, we, then we begin to pile all this stress on us like, okay, I'm going to do this anyway, but I got to hurry up and make it work so that these people don't lose, lose faith in me. So that's a good point, Jessica. I mean, we, we still have, yes, our context is different, but we are still dealing with, um, you know, in, in its simplest manifestation, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. We still have to, you know, safety, security, before we can get up to self-actualization. <clears throat> and um, so, yeah, we, we, we definitely are driven by that. Now, when we start making decisions, and, and here's, here's kind of the deeper issue. When we start making our decisions based on how other people feel, we're living a life that that's what uh, Steve Jobs in his 2005 address to the Stanford graduating class. That's what he called living other people's lives. Right. And, and, and clearly there's more detail and more hair on this than is simple for us to cover in a short amount of time. But when we do that, when we give somebody else the keys to the car, Right. And we're in the back seat. We are, or, or this is even worse. We're sitting in the driver's seat. They're sitting in the passenger seat trying to drive the car. That's kind of the analogy here. It's, it's our life. It's our car. We have to drive the car ourselves. And when we are doing that based on how other people think and what even worse, what they might think, what they might feel, 
Not even what they've already demonstrated. Oh, man, that's, that is not a recipe for creating the life that you crave. All right, Joe says, when you rise above their advice, they often take credit for the success. Uh, well, everybody wants to be associated with a winner, right? That's how you get fair-weathered sports fans. I was a Braves fan when you could buy a ticket at game day. I guess they're almost back to this point now. Buy a ticket at game day and walk down to field level and talk to the players in the dugout. Nobody went to the ball games. They sucked. It was bad. Right? So you gotta be, you gotta be a fan throughout. It's easy for people to glom onto a winner. This mug right here is 20 years old. <laughs> right? Even when they weren't doing well. So, uh, let's get back to our quote. Hit this one more time. The number one reason people fail in life is because they listen to their friends, family, and neighbors. They listen, they hear, I mean, it's okay to hear them. It's even okay to listen to them. What you don't want to do is let them direct your decision making. All right. So question for you today, think, thing for you to think about as you go through the day, as you are, and in fact, sometimes this leads us to not share our ideas with other people because we don't want this feedback. I want you to be open with sharing your idea, putting your idea out, to the universe, to God, to whomever, that's how you begin to create it. That's what makes it happen. So if you don't share it, it's not going to happen. Begin putting that out there. And as you do, be open. Listen to the people who are giving you the feedback. And I want you up here, not necessarily out loud, but to evaluate that feedback. And listen for this type of advice. Are they encouraging you? Are they cautioning you? Are they trying to pull you back into the herd? Be aware of that. The number, I mean, that, that is the key. Dave, good morning, buddy. Good to see you here this morning. That is the number one key to being able to change anything is to be aware that it's happening. All right. Be on the lookout for that advice. Those good intentions from friends, family, and neighbors and, and evaluate it. Are they encouraging you? Are they cautioning you? Are they pulling you back into the herd? All right. Today is what is today? Thursday. Thankful Thursday. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're thankful for today. You should be able to begin every day with an attitude of gratitude. And remember, as Chief Tecumseh says, if you can find nothing to give thanks for, then the fault lies only in yourself. We all have something to be thankful for because we are here. All right. Leave that in the comments. Let me know what that is. You guys have a fantastic Thursday. I'll be back. So it is Thursday. That means tomorrow's Friday, Free Coaching Friday. Send me your questions, your topics. Or, or be loaded up and be ready to ask them in the morning, and we'll do an installment of Free Coaching Friday tomorrow. I'll see you same time, same channel in the morning. You guys have a great day. Okay, so for anyone that sticks around here, <laughs> Mediacom is my provider. I'm actually doing the show yesterday and today. I did it off the hotspot on my phone because my phone is more reliable than my cable internet. And if you don't follow me on Twitter, you should. I'm just saying. Here, let me see if I can do this quickly. I'll do a... Uh, here we go. I mean, it's really hard to figure out. There's my Twitter. Uh, but you should go. Um, so it's interesting because they create this page. Let's see if I can share that. Yeah, there it is right there. This is the page that they create for you to go test. That's not on it. For you to go test your speed and then right here they have a little twitter button and a little facebook button so you bet i take advantage of that 
And every time it comes out, like the last time I ran it, 46 down, 7.4 up. And that's an improvement from where it's been. Anyway, I finally started getting some, some results and I had the, uh, I had the folk, the social media customer support folks reach out to me through Twitter and say, Hey, we'd like to talk to you and help you resolve this. I'm like, yeah, I bet you would. Anyway, I'll keep you guys up to date on that. Thanks for sticking around. See you again in the morning.